Sarah, I want to talk to you about something that I've been using that I've been really appreciating and enjoying with this, you know, kids, book, uh, business, life situation that I have going on. As you and I both know, we have to just squish. It runs in anywhere, everywhere, but we also want to get the most out of it. You and I both are very driven people. We want to get mm-hmm. our runs to the best of their ability. And for me, a lot of my runs end up being when I wake up first thing in the morning, I go straight out the door. And I... Have you ever had tried black currant, the flavor? I love it. Oh my God, I me too. Yeah. Black currant mm-hmm. is something in England for, for listeners. Um, black currant is a berry, but it's like slightly tangy, slightly sweet. Um, is that how you would describe it? I, I, yeah, it's kind of like pomegranate-esque. It's really delicious. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah, so um, I came across this product called Two Before, which is black currant flavored. It's gonna, mm. It increases your endurance. It helps you with inflammation, supports your immunity. But most importantly, it's comes in like a, it comes in a caffeine and a non-caffeine version. So I can like get this energy boost before my runs in the morning, or especially, I'm I'm sure you've had many of these, these afternoon squishings when you're already kind of a bit cooked, but you know, you have to get a run in and I've really been loving it. And I love, 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 love that it is black currant flavor because that just makes it so easy to drink. It's enjoyable. And, um, I know it's like helping me, even though it's a pre-workout. So I want to um, have you try it out because I think you're going to love it too, especially if yep, you love please. that taste of black currant. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to tell listeners, if you go to two before the number two, two before.com and use code yeah. Tina, you can get yourself 30% off. I definitely encourage you to check it out. If you are stretched for time, squeezing your runs in, busy person who still wants to get the most out of your training, this is such a great product to have. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for listening, Sarah. Because I I think you're gonna love it. I'm literally looking up on my phone right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> love it. All right, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna throw one at you, Tina. I'm gonna throw you a question here uh, <sighs> that is from the list. I'm really curious about this because again, I just, I feel like I know you so well, but I just don't know your answer to this. The strangest thing you've ever fallen in love with. So this can be like an activity, an object, a person. What is the strangest thing you've ever fallen in love with? Strangest. Like, have you ever, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of like an example. Um, You know what I mean, right? Yeah, I do. I just don't know. Um, I, I, See, I feel like the answers, like the things that are coming to mind. Okay. The first thing that um, came to mind was surfing, but that's not really mm. weird, is it? Um, the second thing that came to mind was, as it's on my mind, Lahaina, um, mm. but that's not really weird either. Um, the third thing that came to mind, I think I would go, we'll go with this is like the bark of trees. Like there's something about like putting my hand on a bark of a tree and talking to trees and so I would say I'm like in love with trees in that like I definitely put them on a pedestal in terms of like organisms of life like I in some ways prefer trees to people because I just I'm like in awe of what they're able to do and how slow they move and just how they like rebuild and and get on with things and how they talk like they communicate with each other and how they warn each other of things like there's so many things about them that I just love and appreciate and I feel I don't know yeah there's something for me like I touch trees often when I'm running I just like graze my hand across them just to like remind myself and I did that a lot in my ultra but I just do it a lot in daily life too so does that count as weird I wouldn't say trees are a weird thing but like yeah, maybe I to that extent. <laughs> well I think in a, I, this is actually a fun tree fact you might already know this but, um, so obviously there's, there's male and female trees. And so in a lot of species of pine, I think ponderosa pine in particular, which are all over the American Southwest, the bark of the female trees, if you get up real close and you smell it, it smells like vanilla. Did you know that? No, I They smell that. incredible. Um, mm. yeah. So there's a lot of really neat, I actually, this is kind of a similar thing. I don't think I've shared this with you. Um, but I lately, I downloaded this app. I have loved identifying mushrooms. <laughs> this is super strange, but was that going to be your know, answer? That was originally that was your what answer? I was thinking of, but as you okay. said, trees, because it's like, they have such a fascinating symbiotic relationship with trees. Like if you find an oak forest because of the way that oak, 
um, roots grow in the ground, you will find the most like 150 species of mushrooms around like yes. one. Oh, I have found um, the most amazing mushrooms that bleed like blue. They're so, so cool. They're called like indigo milk caps. I have identified seriously like 160 species of mushrooms in this little app that I have. And I am fast and we have found some that are like crazy toxic. Um, and then I found one I will send you a picture of this. It was called uh, a slender Caesar's mushroom. It was like something from Alice in Wonderland. It was like a foot tall cap about this big, like 10 inches wide. And it was bright orange and yellow. It was the craziest oh. thing. It looked like something like, remember in Willy Wonka, when they go into that room where everything's made of yes. candy, it looked yes. like that. So lately, just this last year, I've been obsessed with like, I'll finish a run. And then wherever I am, like on a greenway, I'll just duck into the woods and see what mushrooms I can find. But I'm excited because the fall season of mushrooms, which is like November and December, mm. that's coming. But the big one is like May, June and July. Like there's mushrooms yeah. everywhere. And here it gets like a ton of rain. So that has been like, as far as nature stuff goes, like that's crazy. Um, but the thing I was actually thinking of, because it's so embarrassing that I don't tell people like the strangest thing I love is how it is. It's a sport and it's really embarrassing. You actually know this. I think I've told you this, but my husband, he's real bad. Like he plays tournaments and everything. It's disc golf, like Frisbee golf. Oh, yes. yes yeah. Yes. So it's like literally one day I was pregnant with Charlotte. I was newly pregnant and Michael comes home and he was like, he literally walked in the door. He's like, hear me out. Disc golf. <laughs> I like, of course, laughed in his face, but he's like, no, I was running on this trail and I see these guys and they're just throwing discs into these like baskets. And he's like, they're just beautiful parks and you just go out there and you could just play. He has gotten so into it. Literally right now, he's downstairs watching a tournament on TV. <laughs> <laughs> we know all it. the pros. We know all their names. He oh now is God. like, he has a coach. He knows exactly how oh, many wow. feet he can throw. He has like a, over a hundred and some discs in the garage because they each do a different thing. And Wait, they all have Michael them. has a hundred and yes. something discs? Yes. Oh, you I would not know. believe it. And it's like, there's times when he's like, Hey, I'm going to take the kids out and about. And I can almost guarantee you he's at the disc golf store buying discs. Like that's what he's doing. <laughs> um, so literally he just won a tournament down here and he was so excited. It's so cute because like, you know, when you, you, you lose something, like when you walk away from your professional running career for sure. And for him, like disc golf has stepped right into that oh, place. That's like, so sweet. It's amazing. And he's so competitive and we have our own little basket outside. So he'll like spend like a half hour a day, like putting it's like it's really cute um but i'm telling you like it's so fun you just move so when you're doing that you just move around the garden like throwing it from different places yeah so he'll like set up the basket and then he'll just like he'll like just throw a bunch of discs at random into the yard and then he'll just like go from disc to disc trying to hit like trying to nail the basket um but it's crazy, like, and it's just so funny because it just like any sport, it has its own little world and its own little drama and like all sorts of stuff, which is just, it's just cute. It's funny. Um, so wait, is that your really, answer too? That's my answer too. Yeah. Cause I do love it. It's really, it shocked me how fun it was, even though like I am not good at it at all, but it is so fun. Like it is legitimately fun and not as bad as, well, I mean, running is like, there's still a lot of depth in the women's side of the sport, but disc golf for women, it's like. I could go and win a tournament because only two women show up and like a hundred guys show up. So it's like really not a sport that appeals to many women for, for probably just because you see it as like a frat boy, like sport, but, but I'm telling you, yeah. like it is, it is legitimately, it's a good time. Like Tina, oh. next time we hang out in person, I'm going to take you out there. Okay. Like it, it's legitimately okay. fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've only done it once, but no, I'm willing to try again for sure. Mm -hmm. I, um, I love that, that that has been your, uh, that's, uh, is that that strange to be in love with though? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess it's like, it could be, but to each their own. I, uh, uh, yeah, mine are definitely all plant related. I think I do have a love for my plants in a way that I, Steve just like hates the amount of plants we have in our house and I keep adding more for my birthday. I haven't <laughs> gone to the store yet, but I have another gift card to go buy some more. Oh so I'm my excited God. to like pick them out and it's like going to be a treat. So I'm going to make sure I have time yeah. to like go browse the aisles and decide which oh. one I want. Walking like, into like a good nursery is like there's no better feeling than like walking. Oh, yeah. You're just like, oh, just one of everything, please. It's <laughs> <laughs> yes. How are it's how are your um how is your garden faring? Is everything pretty much over there? Um some things did really well. The cucumbers were insane. Yeah. We we're getting like five yeah. a day. Same. Crazy. Um the tomatoes didn't do very well. I don't know mm -hmm. what the deal was there. Neither did the the peppers did well. The beets were okay. They weren't that big, but I don't know if like ground beets like you know homegrown beets would go that well the mm -hmm. beans didn't do that well I don't know why that was so some of the ones that I kind of thought I would easily get like tomatoes and beans didn't go that well but some of the things 
I didn't expect. The leaks are still there. I can't tell if they're ready or not yet. So <laughs> some of it went well. How about you? Yeah. Well, our like our cucumbers, I think I harvested like 16 cucumbers from our tiny little patch and then a bunch of jalapenos, probably about 20 jalapenos. But my green bell pepper didn't grow at all. Like it didn't produce any peppers. And then I produced one like swirly, twirly red cayenne pepper, which I tried oh. to prank Michael with because it's supposed to be pretty hot. I think it's like if a jalapeno is like 1500 on the scale, it's like 50,000. So I, like I chopped some up and like I threw it in Michael's chili. He didn't even notice. <laughs> he, he just... <laughs> He eats a lot of Did hot ones. Did you watch the uh, Jennifer Lawrence video? Of, her I, of course, I've watched all the hot ones. That so much. That, yeah. I mean, I I, yeah, <laughs> some of them are funny, but her, the memes that have been made from that what video. Do what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's so I've good. actually been, I've been binging the hot ones show. Like, I just love that format so much because it yeah. just brings out the, the, the it, you can't not be real. Like when you, yeah, when you yeah, have yeah, yeah. 2 million Scovilles <laughs> of pepper spice in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> no, so good. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. We got another one and uh listeners, we'll see you next time.